New concerns tonight that a popular local t-shirt could be creating a security risk. And Martin Vogel continues to recover from gunshot wounds he received Sunday when he confronted an FBI agent with a fake gun this weekend on Tantalus Drive. Vogel was on bail from an arrest just days earlier for impersonating an officer on the UH Manoa campus. Witnesses say he was wearing a jacket with the word police written on it and carrying a badge. KTV 4 Shane Einright joins us live from the newsroom. And Shane, how easy is it to get clothing that says police and is it legal? Well, Laura, very easy. We found many for sale tonight and they are legal to sell and own. Dark blue t-shirts engraved with the Honolulu Police Department logo are popular items for sale in Waikiki. These shirts look pretty authentic and they, you could get by with them, especially on these campuses. But, and they are a danger to people. Honolulu police arrested Martin Bogle last week for impersonating a police officer on the UH Manoa campus. On Monday, Bogle's mother told KITV her son owned a jacket with the word police inscribed on it. Yes, yes, he had it. He bought it at the, uh, you know, at the city satellite hall. You can buy all that stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Anybody can buy police uh, caps, they have t-shirts. HPD licenses the production of these specific t-shirts and approves of stores selling them to the public. There's that power that comes with that uniform. Unfortunately, if some, peop some people pretend to be a police officer, they can use that power to their criminal intent. Under Hawaii law, anyone caught impersonating a police officer while possessing a weapon is committing a felony and faces five years in prison. Police charge Bogle with a misdemeanor since he didn't have a weapon. It doesn't matter whether or not the uniform is in fact real or a fake uniform. If that person holds him or herself out as an officer, that will make that person liable. However, Representative John Ricky Karamatu says the state needs laws to police these specific items. I think they should make them look less authentic. And uh, the, the shirt themselves is not the, the problem. It's who's in the shirt that's the problem, really. Karmatu says it is a misdemeanor to impersonate a firefighter or a lifeguard. Reporting live, Shane Enright, KITV4 News.